Hey there guys, it's Too Old For Gaming. Today we're on Solmani and uh, I am playing the 44th Guards Rifle Division. We're going to be focused on the main town area here. It's a relatively small map, especially for a 10 versus 10. But uh, I feel like you guys will make it through the entire match this time. As uh, this is the fastest 10 versus 10 I think I've ever encountered. So initially here, I'm bringing in reconnaissance. Some of these awesome RM38 50mm mortars, SG43s, recon for the church, uh, a couple Zis 3s, autos with uh, 50 cal half tracks, and um, 25mm anti aircraft gun. And these little flamethrower teams just to, just to push the line forward. So initially, here we're already starting to hit the enemy equipment. Saw a truck go down there. All our half tracks finally getting into position here, and we're lucky we've got another two players, two, three players helping us push this in town. So far, you know, biggest risk for us would be is if someone got off map and brought that in initially here, but we've got them pushed all the way back to the very edge of town. So we're definitely in a great field position. On our left flank, we've got a bunch of Panzergrens, Sturm Pioneers moving forward up the hill, but uh, looks like we're making making them stop at the edge. So Panthers and, and uh, Panzer IIs heading our way. Not really a whole lot to handle the Panther, but we do have the Sis threes, who if we're in close enough, should be able to take them down. Just took out the SPW-204F. There's another one here that should be going down soon, but the amount of fire on these guys is pretty crazy. You can see the enemy team is almost fully pinned down, and I'm moving, I'm firing my 50s. These 50 millimeters, I would, I would honestly, they're eight, they have 800 meters of range for 20 points, making them extremely useful. The, the extra range really helps out on these. And then those Zis 3s too, that's what actually was firing. We get high explosive shells that we can lob indirect too. So just nice to have both. I'm keeping the autos sort of hidden here. So they bump into them until we start pushing again. And it looks like our teammate wants to keep going. So we're gonna keep doing that. I'm gonna start mortaring the Sturmjäger over here. Because these guys are pretty strong with the 7 MP44s and their light machine guns, so they just wiped out the team over here. And that Crusader AA is even putting in work. So we lose a flamethrower team, I'm not sure where. The Panther ends up going down to a 17-pounder on the ridge up here. And my M2A1 with the 50 cal is just starting to pin all these guys along these 50 millimeter mortars that are now in range landing on the house right here. So I did try to move these autos forward before then, and you can see they really get chewed up quite quickly by the Sturmjäger teams. And I actually might lose this one. So he did die off, but tons and tons of machine gun is going off against the Germans over here. The other auto team here does get them to surrender. The Anzu Jaeger team goes down. Stug 3 is getting hit already. And I'm trying to... I see guys sometimes waste half-tracks by rushing them forward. They're a machine gun with armor, guys. Like, I position them so they don't get knocked out and fire, fire at the enemy. They're, um, especially the 50 cal ones, are just so good at hitting guys. So we got assault engineers moving forward and more motorized rifles teams. We've captured the flag over here. They're actually 19-7 already. And we're gonna push these flags too. There's three up here. Looks like most of those half tracks are knocked out. There's a pan two Panthers on the far left. All the infantry is pushed out of the town at this point. And continue to walk my equipment forward. Very surprised that we didn't have any enemy aircraft coming in or any off maps on us. That really would have suppressed everyone and, and uh, made a difference for the enemy. Let's take a look around here. We've even managed to push the hill. We pushed through the woods down here. So overall, complete and total collapse by the Axis forces. 
And we're at a 21-5 with six minutes to go. Excuse me, 26. So we've, I pushed my half tracks and the autos up here. If he tries bringing in trucks or vehicles, we can use our heat grenades to take those out up close. And then for fire support, we've got these 50 kills. So completely pushed back to light woods here. And the M5 half tracks with their 30 kills still doing a great job. And now we get all these stewards. I mean, would not want to be on the receiving end. So more Stug 3s heading forward, but I doubt they're going to get into the town. We'll continue to push and see if we can envelop these guys with the team over here. They're, yeah, we've got all the high ground. It looks like there might be an enemy unit, like, right here. But uh, outside of that, all the high ground and all the cover. So recovering as the enemy is going to be extremely difficult. And... They're projecting here, so I'm assuming there's more guys in here. Panther G taking fire from these BA-10s up close. He should try to position one of these to the side. He can probably penetrate it, but um, he's just going to scare him off. We've got stewards here, too. Is he getting a rear shot on him? He can. Come on, fire steward. It, like, waited. I don't know if you saw that. He had such a great shot. Shooter knocked out. Come on, stewards. <laughs> Awesome. So the Panther leader goes down to Stewart's, and the Panther G is destroyed by also Shrapnikis. We've got this intersection up here now. I can hear the SG-43 firing as I'm continuing to walk my equipment forward. The only thing I left back here was the sniper. Unfortunately, you don't know how far they can see from a bell tower, but they can see more than the range that shows up in the game. So... Still one unit over here, less than two minutes to go. Two units over here. I'm surprised he never tried to fire at that 17 pounder. But we're still we're still in phase A. Friendly off map coming on, the remaining infantry here just brutalized. And I did bring up another SIS 3, so we've got two as I continue to walk the other one. We've got a 17-pounder here who's really scaring the enemy. He's got a direct line of sight down the road. And it's a 24 to 2. Enemy AA net going to get wiped out here in a second. And the Panther G's transmission is destroyed by the 17-pounder. And this crew's about to be destroyed fairly soon here. Not looking too sharp. I'd bail out if I were you. Too late. So another Stuart cavalry run up at the end. I love seeing that kind of stuff with light tanks. Just fire and maneuver is so cool. Especially when you're going up against heavies. I mean, seeing that, that little Stuart's take on a, a Panther leader was kind of awesome. So we've got two 17-pounders up here with 30 seconds to go. And the Cromwell Recon's just going to chase down the enemy. Yag Panther over here, too scared to move forward. Knows, knows that the jig is up. More enemies trying to take things back here in the last 10 seconds. <laughs> We're sitting at a 24-2. I think if you would the game would have given us another five minutes, we probably would have capped everything. So that looks like the Axis captured one more flag. And that's it for the match. So a total victory in less than 10 minutes. 9 minutes, 13 seconds, 23 out of 26 objectives. Take a look at the team stats. Aker, who was in our zone, really cleaned up quite well. Uh, same with uh, this guy, Valsary. And I'm all the way down here because I, it was more suppression than destroying things. That Zis-3 knocked out that truck, a pioneer team, probably with a indirect fire, and the autos took out and surrendered the Sturmjäger. So that, that was it. In terms of losses, we lost a, the auto team that I was trying to move forward before everyone was fully suppressed in the area, and our flamethrower team. So we did 1% of the kills, but 2% of the casualties. So, 
I don't know. Were my contributions a lot to winning that one? Uh, unsure, but we did overwhelm them with the amount of units in the town. So overall, that was uh, was pretty fun. I feel a little bit bad for the Germans, but it is what it is. I'll catch you guys in the next one.